Have you ever wondered where the water on Earth originally came from? Picture the universe about 13.8 billion years ago as a hot, dense, energetic point smaller than an atom. This is the Big Bang, the birth of all that we know. Imagine a realm of unimaginable heat and density, where all the universe's matter and energy were compressed into a tiny, chaotic singularity. This intense heat and density made it the perfect breeding ground for the creation of the simplest elements, hydrogen and helium. In the first few moments after the Big Bang, these light elements formed in a process known as nucleosynthesis. But the universe wasn't content to stay in this hot, dense state. Within a fraction of a second, it began to expand at an astonishing rate. This is the concept of cosmic inflation, where the universe expanded faster than the speed of light. This rapid expansion caused the universe to cool and spread out, creating the vast cosmic landscape we see today. Although the universe was cooling, it was still unbelievably hot by our standards. It was a plasma soup of protons, neutrons, electrons, and photons. As the universe continued to expand and cool, these particles began to combine to form atoms, primarily hydrogen and helium atoms. And here's where things start to get interesting for our story of water. You see, hydrogen is the first and most abundant element in the universe. It makes up about 75% of its elemental mass. And it's also the first component of a water molecule. Without hydrogen, there would be no water. So, from the violent, fiery birth of the universe emerged the building blocks that would one day form the water on our planet. It's a testament to the incredible journey that every drop of water has taken from the first moments of the universe to the glass of water in front of you. From this violent beginning emerged the building blocks of the universe, including hydrogen, the first component of water. So we've got hydrogen, but how do we get from this simple element to water? Let's delve into the fascinating process of the formation of stars and galaxies. You see, our universe is a colossal cosmic kitchen where the ingredients for life are cooked up. Stars, those twinkling points of light we admire in the night sky, are the master chefs in this cosmic kitchen. They're not just pretty to look at, they play a vital role in creating the elements necessary for life as we know it. In the heart of a star, under extreme conditions of temperature and pressure, hydrogen atoms smash together in a process known as nuclear fusion. This intense reaction results in the creation of helium and a massive release of energy. This energy is what makes stars shine so brightly, but the fusion process doesn't stop at helium. As stars grow older and bigger, the fusion process continues, producing heavier and heavier elements. When hydrogen gets scarce, helium atoms start to fuse. This fusion process continues, creating elements like carbon, nitrogen and ultimately oxygen. Yes, the very oxygen we breathe and the oxygen needed to form water was born in the heart of stars. But how do these elements get from the core of a star to the universe at large? Well, stars, like all things, have a life cycle. When a star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it dies in a spectacular explosion known as a supernova. This cataclysmic event disperses the elements cooked up inside the star across the universe. These elements, including oxygen, eventually find their way into interstellar clouds, which are the birthplaces of new stars and possibly new planets. So every atom in our bodies, the air we breathe, the water we drink, was once part of a star. The death of a star is not an end, but a beginning, spreading the necessary elements for life, including oxygen, across the universe. So in a way, we are all made of star stuff, a testament to the interconnectedness of all things in this vast, beautiful cosmos. Now, how did these elements make their way to our corner of the universe? Let's journey back over four and a half billion years ago. In the vast cosmic theater, a dense cloud of gas and dust started to collapse under its own gravity. This celestial cloud, rich with elements forged in the hearts of ancient stars, was the birthplace of our solar system. Gravity, the great cosmic sculptor, began to shape this cloud into a spinning disk. In the heart of this disk, 
where most of the mass was concentrated, the pressure and temperature began to rise. Under these intense conditions, hydrogen atoms started to fuse, giving birth to our Sun, a new star burning brightly in the cosmos. Meanwhile, in the colder outer regions of the disk, tiny particles of dust and ice began to stick together. Over millions of years, these particles grew into planetesimals, the building blocks of planets. In a process akin to a cosmic game of marbles, these planetesimals collided and coalesced, forming the planets of our solar system. Among these newborn celestial bodies was the early Earth, a volatile and tumultuous world. This was a place of molten rock and scorching temperatures, far from the blue and green oasis we know today. Water, the elixir of life, was nowhere to be found. The heat of the young Earth would have caused any water to evaporate and escape into space. So, we are left with a mystery. The early Earth was a hot, dry and inhospitable place. So, where did the water come from? To unravel this mystery, we need to journey further into the history of our planet, to a time when the Earth was bombarded by icy comets and water-rich asteroids. But that's a tale for the next scene. For now, let's marvel at the cosmic dance of creation that gave rise to our solar system, a tiny corner of the universe we call home. Water, the essence of life, had to come from somewhere, right? Let's dive into the theories that scientists have proposed to explain the arrival of water on Earth. One of the most widely accepted theories is the icy comets and asteroids idea. Picture this. Billions of years ago, the Earth was a fiery, waterless world. But it wasn't alone. The early solar system was filled with icy bodies, comets and asteroids zipping around in the cosmic darkness. These icy bodies were like giant cosmic water carriers. They were formed in the colder outer regions of the solar system where water could freeze into ice. As they traveled through the solar system, some of these icy bodies could have collided with the early Earth. Upon impact, the ice from these comets and asteroids would have melted, releasing water that eventually accumulated on the Earth's surface. Over time, these collisions could have deposited enough water to form Earth's vast oceans. Remember, this process wasn't a one-time event. It would have taken countless collisions over millions of years to deliver enough water to cover our planet. It's a slow process, but a vital one. Without these cosmic water carriers, Earth might have remained a dry and barren world. Of course, this is just one theory. Some scientists propose that Earth's water could have come from within the planet itself, released by volcanic activity. Others suggest that water might have been present in the dust and gas from which the Earth originally formed. Regardless of the exact process, one thing is clear. The arrival of water was a turning point in Earth's history. It transformed our planet from a hot, dry world into a vibrant, life-supporting oasis. And thus, our blue planet was born, its surface covered in oceans. It's a fascinating thought, isn't it? The water we drink, the raindrops that fall, the oceans that cover our planet, they all might have come from icy bodies that crashed into Earth billions of years ago. Water is more than just H2O, it's the lifeblood of our planet. This humble molecule, composed of two hydrogen atoms bonded to a single oxygen atom, plays a starring role in the theater of life. Let's consider life as we know it. Every living organism, from the smallest microbe to the largest whale, depends on water for survival. It's a universal solvent, a medium for transport, and an essential component of metabolic processes. Our bodies are about 60% water, a testament to its importance. Water also shapes our planet in ways that are both visible and invisible. It carves landscapes, forming valleys and canyons over millennia. It nourishes ecosystems, allowing diverse life forms to thrive. The constant cycle of evaporation and precipitation regulates our planet's temperature, making Earth a hospitable place for life. But the influence of water extends beyond the biological. It has played a pivotal role in human history and culture. Civilizations have risen and fallen along the banks of rivers. Our myths and religions are steeped in water symbolism. Even our language is awash with water metaphors. 
Water's role in our world is so profound that scientists scour the universe for its presence. The discovery of water on a distant planet sends ripples of excitement through the scientific community for where there is water, there could be life. Water's journey from the fiery aftermath of the Big Bang to the cool blue oceans of our planet is a tale of cosmic proportions. It's a story of transformation from gas and dust in the heart of stars to the liquid that sustains life on Earth. So the next time you quench your thirst with a glass of water, take a moment to appreciate this remarkable molecule. You're not just hydrating your body, you're partaking in a cosmic journey. From the Big Bang to the Blue Oceans, the journey of water is a tale of cosmic proportions. So the next time you take a sip of water, remember, you're drinking the universe's history.